Hey church, welcome to today's devotion. My name's Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and it is Friday the 5th of April. Um, we're going to continue that thought from this week and over the next few weeks about who Jesus is to me and why Jesus. John 14 verse 6 says, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Here we see three things about Jesus. He is the way and the only way to the Father, to redemption, to relationship, to right standing. He is our salvation. He's my salvation. He's your salvation. And because of Jesus, we are adopted into God's family. Sons and daughters, heirs, legitimate kids with our names inscribed on the palm, on the palm of his hand. How amazing is that? He is the truth. Jesus says in John 8 verse 32, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. He is our only way to freedom. His word, knowing his word and living by his word brings you freedom. We can rest in, rely upon and stand strong on the knowledge that his words are true and his words bring us freedom and help us to live in freedom, not limited, restricted by your past, your mistakes or other people's actions or words. When we apply his words and his teachings, we can live free and have freedom, live in freedom. Thirdly, he is the life. He is the only person that we can build and should build our lives upon. In Matthew 7, 24 to 27, Jesus tells the parable of the wise and foolish builders. He says this, therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like the wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the storms rose and the winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like the foolish man who built his house on stand. The rain came, the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against the house. And what happened? It fell with a great crash. Verse 24 says that when we hear Jesus' words and put them into practice and when we follow his ways, we are like wise men and women who build our houses on solid rock, who build our lives on solid rock, who put our lives on a firm foundation of Jesus. You will be strong. You will have strength so that when the storms of life come, because they will come, you'll be able to stand because your life is built on Jesus's life. How incredible and amazing is that? Just reflect on these three, three thoughts. He is our salvation. He is our freedom and he is our firm foundation. All we need is Jesus. Love you church, have a great rest of the day and a fantastic weekend.